Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video, I am going to be making a mini a cereal candle bowl. And this is what it looks like. So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need a spoon. We're going to need a little bowl. You can get this from Dollar Tree. You can get the little spoon from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be doing Lucky Charm cereal, also Dollar Tree. And I have a candle wick. One comes in a candle, but I like to use this one because it's a bit sturdier. And you're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and turn the camera down so we can get into the video. And the one thing that I forgot to mention is... We're going to be using wax. I've already went ahead and melt my wax down in the oven. And now we're just going to go ahead and pour this in. But before we do that, I am going to take my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue here. We're going to go ahead and stick that in place. And I'm going to take my wick. I slide this back a little bit. But before I do that, I think I want to go ahead and stick my wick in first. That way I know about where I want my spoon to be. So I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue right down on the bottom. Gonna stick that right down in here just like that. And that's probably not gonna stay up but it is fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my spoon in and I'm just gonna put my spoon in at an angle. So just going to put a little bit of hot glue here. And you don't even have to do this step because once you pour the wax in, it's going to actually stay up on its own. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pour my wax. I'm going to set that aside. And I'm just going to hold this up a bit. And then that's going to start drying. So now we have our candle where it's not completely set up. And I don't know how well you can see this, but here it is. And it's not completely set up. And that's what I want. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just start taking my cereal and just kind of putting them. That was a bunch of cereals clumped together. So we're going to get rid of that. And so we're just going to basically grab some of the cereal. And we're just going to go ahead and just start dropping them in here in random places with some marshmallows so basically what we're gonna do is just start and um, just randomly uh, place where you want your cereal to be and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like once it, everything is solid I'm gonna grab a few more of the uh, Lucky Charms, but you you know feel free to use any cereal that you have on hand. I personally like Lucky Charms, but the thing is that I don't like milk, so yeah. I normally eat these dry. And if you like milk, that's cool. I just I don't I, don't know. I like milk when I was a kid, but eh, I kind of don't no more. I think is I find it funny that when we like stuff as a kid and then when we get to be adults, we don't like it. Like, is that just me or is it a thing? Like, do your taste buds change when you get to be an adult? Somebody let me know your experience in, on that. So this is what it's looking like. So I, I went ahead and added my cereal before my candle had time to set up. And there's my wick. That way... um. You can place the cereal where you want them to be. And once you get everything placed in, and I'm just going to add a couple more. And then that way everything can land, you know, to everything can dry together and it be solid. And now what I'm going to do is I have this, it's apple cinnamon. This is what it looks like. Also Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put a couple drops in here because I like the way it smells for one. So yeah. And there you have it. And the next thing you can do, and it's optional, you don't have to do this step, but um, 
I am not going to be burning the candle. I basically want it for decor just to set around my house. But, um, and all you have to do is just take, um, clear school glue and a little bit of water, mix it together and brush it over the cereal. And I'll show you one that I've done. So this is the one that's already done. I took, um, the cereal and put it in. And like I was telling you, I went ahead and brushed this with, um, clear school glue. Or you can use resin, whichever one you have on hand. Uh, also, you can use polyurethane. You can use that. You can brush this with, with whatever you want if you plan on not burning it. Um, I don't recommend burning it because, like I said, it's just going to set around my, ha my house. And it's going to be um, just for decoration purposes only. It's going to go in my kitchen. Um, I have another one that i done. And here's the other one. This one is, um, what are these things called? Oh my goodness. The, the yeah, these are <laughs> frosted mini wheat. These are the ones I made this one because this is my husband's favorite cereal. So, um, yeah, so these are the small ones that I did. And then I did, um, I did a bigger one, which is right here. So, yeah, and these are it. And once again, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera back up so y'all can see me. And here it is, close up. And it's completely dry, as you can see. So, yeah, that is it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. Um, please feel free to share this video with your family and friends. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family. And with that being said, thank you so, so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. That really means a lot. And yeah, I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.